Today on Karamo, it's a couple whose relationship has fallen apart. You two have had a few threesomes before, correct? Yes, sir. Because of their open sexual lifestyle. When have you seen me with a dude on that camera? When I showed you the next day. Someone they both know very well is here. Who was living with this girl? You cheated on me with her. Will unlocking both of their phones help this situation? Found three live sex chats. <gasps> or tear them apart for good? He's never going to be able to accept that he's not fully in control. Plus, <laughs> It's a young man here to see if his mother... He thinks I judge him because he's G-A-Y, but I do not. ...can accept him for who he truly is. I don't understand it. You constantly telling me G-A-Y. G-A-Y? Gay! Want, I don't want... It's gay! I don't want the little one saying it. But what happens if she just can't do it? Just accept me! Just I, accept me! What do you mean? Taylor says her fiancé, Eric, has been trying to catch her cheating for almost a decade when he's the real cheater. Eric has cameras set up all over the house and claims he has proof Taylor has been messing around. Before they say I do, we're unlocking their phones. But let's first meet Taylor to hear her side. And let's welcome Taylor to the show. Hi. How are you doing? Can you have a hug? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You look very cute. Thank you. Yeah. Um, okay, so I got to start off. Why is Eric accusing you of cheating on him? Well, we both had, um, we've been together almost 10 years and in the beginning we both cheated. Okay. Um, but I only cheated on him one time, well, two times actually. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> they like, what, what, what is it, two, one or two? It was twice, <laughs> but the first time was it was within like the first month that we were together. So it kind of didn't really count. We were feeling each other out still. I understand, okay. And um, the second time, we were um, together for about six years. So, you know, that was, we were deep into it then. Got so. it. So why does a Eric claim he's seen you cheating then? Well, he has cameras all over the house. He has, yeah, he has cameras in, uh, DVR cameras in the house, outside the house. Um, he watches them 24-7. He thinks that I'm doing any and everything when he's not around, um, when he's asleep when he's at work. Yeah. I work from home, so I'm always home and I'm always on the camera because there's cameras inside. Yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, listen everyone, we spoke with Eric earlier to hear about some of his theories and take a look at what he had to say. I have the proof that my fiance Taylor is a cheater. I called Taylor sneaking me in into the house. I seen it on my home security system. I heard a dude tapping on my window saying, Taylor, Taylor. One time when we was having sex, there was this green laser beam on my stomach. I think it was one of them laser pointers. I believe it was a dude trying to get Taylor's attention. It makes me sick, but I can't ignore the signs anymore. I'm convinced Taylor is a cheater. Okay, so he feels that, I, you know, I, I need, I'm gonna hear his side of the story, but to hear about a, a green laser beam? Okay, I don't, okay, the day he's talking about- Y'all heard that, he said, <laughs> So he thinks a man is outside trying to get your attention with a green laser beam? Yeah, that part sounds crazy to me. The green laser beam sounds crazy too, but that day that he's talking about, I did not see a green laser beam. But the next day, I did see a green laser beam, but it wasn't shining on him. It was just, it come through our window. It was on the wall. And Got I have it. no idea or any, I don't have a clue. Who, how would I know? I'm in uh, there with him. Okay, um, so you did cheat on him a few years ago. What happened then? Because now you're deep into the relationship. Okay, um, our plumbing went out in our house. Uh, we were getting our floor uh, repaired. And so we went and stayed with a, a friend, a couple friend of ours for like about a week. Mm -hmm. He was in the next room asleep and we was drinking and stuff. Me, me and this couple was a guy and a girl. Um, one thing led to the other, we ended up sleeping together. So you, you, slept, you slept with the couple? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then um, I felt really, really bad. Like, I felt really bad. So I told him the next day. He didn't have to search for it. He didn't have to look. He didn't, nobody else told him. I told him. Mm -hmm. And then ever since then, it's like he has this in his head that that's all I'm doing. How's it affecting your um, home life, especially with your son? Um, I mean, of course, I'm sure... We don't ever argue right in front of him, oh. but like I'm sure he hears us, our disagreements and stuff. I mean, it, it's a, I'm sure it affects it affects everything. Yeah. So I know my producers told me ahead of time that you two have had a few threesomes before, correct? Yes, sir. Okay then. Um, do you think that's made him wonder why you cheated? I've... My audience so judgmental today. <laughs> I know. Listen, I know some of y'all in here had a threesome or two. Okay, y'all, y'all are grown folks. Look, somebody, I saw you. She turned her head up here. I saw you turn your head. Um, so, do you, so do you think? But do you think the threesomes has caused sort of this sort of insecurity in him? 
Um, in a way, I feel like maybe he, we started, we really started doing that to experience things together. I mean, we want to be together for our whole life. Why not? If it's fun to us, if we, if we have something that we have uh, understanding about, which I thought we did, I think we do. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like he would cheat on me, but, um, I mean, we just, I don't know if that's really, I think really what it is, is that he can't get over the fact that if I'm not around him, that I cheat on him once, I'll do it again. Well, listen, everyone, Taylor's fiance and the father of their son, Eric, is here. So everyone, let's meet Eric now. Hey, how you doing, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to Take a seat from you. Okay, so why do you say that you know Taylor is a cheater? Because I've seen it. You've seen uh, it? Yeah, I mean, it's all on camera. I mean... Where is it on camera? Man, it's, man, it's on camera, I promise you that. So what's so convincing about the security footage that you've seen in your home? Man, like, one thing is, I know this, like, um, when, like, some days when I come home from work and during the days, it'd be like, like the camera would be the drop from like 12 o'clock or say 12.30 to 2.30, 3 o'clock. I don't know how to touch that. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do the settings. But I don't like touch that, his though. DVR. I don't but it's touch like it. that, though. Well, if it's like that, you need to find out why. I don't, it ain't me. Don't say it if it's like that. It's, it, she said if you, it's like that. Like, anything who that, no, anything that nobody, <laughs> anything that happens that you blame it on me, you no have like things don't happen that, I mean, you, you know, you could have done it. It could be a setting in the cameras. I don't touch your cameras. So then, why in the bedroom? Huh? Why, why a camera located in the bedroom? Cause we be freaking. We got, we got eight videos up. We got, okay. we, I mean, if, <laughs> if, if the thing go good, then we you know we're sitting there all to a little, a little video thing, whatever. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, okay, <laughs> okay. So you think she's cheating while she's, uh, while, while you sleep? While I'm asleep, while I'm awake, while I'm at work, whatever. While, you know I'm, what I'm, while I'm standing on my head, while I'm doing everything they call else. So, y'all stay in the, y'all stay in the same house, so how, she, you think she's getting up out of bed? Yeah. And when I do, if I get up out of bed, guess what? From the bed to the, to the living room. She's on camera? I'm on and camera. Until it, it, the s*** erased. Who erased it? Who erased it? You did. OK, that's I what he I believes. Did. I don't I, touch that, that ain't the anymore. question, though. Answer my question. You answer my question with a question. Answer my question. When have you seen me with a dude on that camera? When? A few times. When? A few times. When? Never, never, never. How am I getting him in there? Oh, you're sneaking him up to the floor. That, oh, yeah, I'm moving all this floor with my... You might be sneaking him up I'm, to the... I'm Taylor the Builder. Yeah, yeah, I can do yeah. all that. You might that. be sneaking him up to the floor, down the chimney, uh, out the... We don't have a chimney. I'm, I'm going to ask you a real question. Because you're saying things like you see, think she's sneaking it through the floor. Yeah. You know? Which, like, unless you have a trap door, I don't see how that could happen. When, when, when we bought the trailer or whatever, I, I'm the one that put the floor down. And then there's a few spots in there that she know that you can, you can, you can damn come up through. But you, I, that's yeah. just a theory, though. That's, yeah, that's, just I get a, it. that's what I'm saying. That, that's what I feel like when you see. Like you know, now we on TV, she's trying to play. There's nothing I can do. No, there's nothing I can do oh, that will make I, him I, believe me. Hey, let me ask you this. I Gold. It ain't good enough. All right, for yeah, but you ain't gold though. But listen, what I'm saying is, I basically do. I don't do nothing wrong. I work all day all right. and I stay at home with your ass. I don't cheat on you. Eric. All right, listen, check this out. And she talking about that green beam. Uh, she she had like she didn't see that green beam on my, on my stomach while she was, but that's a lie. If I'm then my eyes are not on you. Yeah, your they're right down there here. Right there. You know what I'm saying? I say say you didn't see that when I showed you the next day. The next day I saw it on the wall. When we and you were sitting in the room, but... See, now, now but, I know you lied but, to me. Bye. 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 He doesn't want things to work, I guess. I don't I'm going to talk to this air. Can this couple rebuild the trust? Did that affect you? Hell yeah, it affected That was lost in their sexual lifestyle. I'm sorry for how I talked to you. And I love you, and I want to yeah, be with yeah, you. Yeah. Someone they both know very well is here. We was living with this girl. You cheated on me with her. And you won't believe what she says next. We've been together almost 10 years and we both cheated. Okay. Um, our plumbing went out in our house, so we went and stayed with a, a friend, a couple friend of ours. Um, one thing led to the other, we ended up sleeping together. So you, you, slept, you slept with the couple? Yeah. Okay. So why does Eric claim he's seen you cheating then? Well, he has cameras all over the house. He has... So you think she's cheating while you sleep? While I'm asleep, while I'm awake, while I'm at work, whatever. When have you seen me with a dude on that camera? A few times. When? A few times. When? Never. <laughs> yeah, bye. 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 I'm gonna talk to this Eric. He was about 10 years down the drain. I can tell you he did. I got a serious question for you. What's up? Um, when, because she told me earlier yeah. that she cheated on you in a threesome that you weren't involved in. Yeah. Did that affect you? Hell yeah, the fact that hurt, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, though. So. 
So that day, you had a trust, and then all of a sudden the trust was broken. Man. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. what was the conversation y'all had about that? What did she say? Oh, man, I don't know, man. Will you come back out here because I can yeah. answer that? All right, um, so I started asking you, and I could see immediately when I said that you took off your glasses, I could see your eyes welled up. Um, so I understand that at the core of this, there's a real issue, is that trust was betrayed. You had an agreement where you would be enjoying things as consenting adults, and then you broke that while he was in another room. What did that do to you? It hurt. But, um... I what mean, did you say? There ain't nothing I can do about it. I mean, you know okay, what I'm look, you're making me look like a dog. When we was, whenever I was pregnant, you cheated on me. Barking, you cheated on me over, uh, I mean, what, 10, 20, 30 with all different kind of hoes. I mean, and what did I do? I stayed with you. I don't accuse you every day. That is over and done with. I know. I, I'm not here to hurt you or but, make you look crazy. I'm here because I'm tired so you of being on your fiance, And I love though. you and I want yeah, to be with yeah, you. Yeah, I did. I, I cheated on her, but, but that was like six, seven years ago. Now, look, now, look. What's now, the difference? Uh, now, hold on, let me talk now. I'm, I ain't trying to interrupt you no more, and I'm sorry for how I talk to you. But listen, um, what I'm trying to say is, I didn't, man, when I, when I cheated, I owned up to my and it didn't continue. And I haven't cheated on you since then. That's what you can't get it but, no, but, It's because you ain't never been cheated on before. I did it to you, and it seems like it, had, it just tore your ass up. All right, all right. First of all, you keep saying, well, uh, now I told you. I did the next why, why, day. You, you not tell me. And you didn't have to do no. not do the No, you cheated on me with your baby mama when I was pregnant in the same way where we was living at. We was living with this girl. You cheated on me with her. But I told you about it though. No, yeah. Five, six years down the road after I done so, been all so, up in this bitch's face and she's smiling. Man, Eric, Eric, I want to know, Eric, why can't you give her the same grace that she's giving you after you cheated? What, what grace are you giving me, dog? Well, because you cheated in the beginning. What grace do I give you? I'm through, man. You cheated <laughs> in the beginning. I man, I don't care nothing about her walking out of all that brew who brought I ain't worried about that. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to the core of this, because you gave her, you gave, she gave you grace. You said you cheated, you manned up. I, I give you that credit. But she did the same thing. I know you said you feel like you tricked her into talking, but she still told you. No, because you know why? Because just like that bean thing, you know, she sit there and say, oh, I see the next day on the wall. But me and her had to had, have, me and you having a conversation right now. Me and her had the same conversation about about the bean being on my, on my stomach. Why, I said, what the hell is it? Like, she's so like, but I didn't see it when we was having so sex. question is, can't you give her Because she's lying about that. If she continued to lie, if she would man up and own up to her I could get over the that, I don't, that I'm saying. Got it. Listen, I, Taylor, until I, she I owns up, I would not Ta believe Taylor what she's Eric, saying. Taylor's and Eric's best friend, Michelle, is here in the audience, and she has some thoughts to share about this. Uh, all right, I want to know. Um, I want to know from you. Do you think that Taylor is cheating? No, not at all. You don't think she's cheating? No. Okay. And tell me, why don't you think so? Because he sees everything she does 24-7. Eric. Excuse me, man. Just my get man. it together. Get it together. Or understand, it's under I'm life. not doing nothing wrong to you, man. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Michelle, you seem to be getting upset and emotional. What's going on? Uh, she know. Are you tired of seeing your friends fighting like this? I'm so. I just want to see them happy, man. Yeah. Well, we ain't gonna be happy until she owns up to that. I, I was just saying, because me and you had that conversation. I saw the laser beam come through the window. Did I see it on you? No, I wasn't looking up here. My head was down here, baby. So, so if it, that was so all the place, then. Michelle, have you seen any of the footage? That Do I know who it was? About? No. Did I hear my name? No. Have you seen any of the footage? Never. No. Uh, okay. her, but her word ain't credible, because me and her both slept with her, too. So, ain't all that. I cheated on her. Credible. I cheated on her with her. And you know, lied about it for years, but it's okay. Incredible. It's okay. She's we're not here about me, Eric. We'll say she ain't. Yeah, she, I don't know. For real, I came at both of y'all about it. But she did it. She more like your friend now, it seems like. She's taking the side of you when you're wrong. No, because she ain't taking the, Michelle, the, the, the right think, side. Do you think that's that Eric is right. controlling? Do you think that's not right, Eric. Yeah. Do you think it's controlling? Very. Got it. Before I give you any advice or go anywhere, we need to unlock these phones and get to the truth of this. It's two phones unlocked. Found three live sex chats. Will Taylor's fiance walk out of her life? He's never going to be able to accept that he's not fully in control. Find out next. When I cheated, I owned up to my 
and it didn't continue. And I haven't cheated on you since then. That's what you can't get it. But no, what, it's because you ain't never been cheated on before. I did it to you, and it seems like it had, it just tore your ass up. Before I give you any advice or go anywhere, we need to unlock these phones and get to the truth of this. So, Eric, you said that you had sex with Michelle. Yeah. Okay, so you had sex with her too. Okay. I know about that though. Yeah, yeah she knows about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You, you, I, you said, I owned up to all of mine. So did I. You feel like she's not credible because of the fact that you all had a threesome together. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, I'm also witnessing yeah, the interactions, yeah, how y'all yeah. doing. So it's time to unlock the phone. So go ahead, unlock you it. You want to know. <laughs> all right. All right, so um, my unlock the phone investigators search for any suspicious interactions. We search Eric's apps and we found nothing suspicious. My Unlock the Phone investigator then searched through all of his text messages to see if he was talking to anyone, doing anything that could be suspicious. And we found nothing suspicious again. <laughs> My Unlock the Phone investigator searched his photos and found nothing suspicious. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel about that, knowing that nothing was suspicious? I mean, I really didn't think he was doing anything. I came here today just to, wishfully thinking, I guess he's just not going to get it through his head. That I'm not doing nothing wrong to him. He, you could have every, everything in the book, and he's, it's just, it's not going to, I guess he doesn't love me like he says he does. Okay. Taylor, it's time to unlock your phone. Eric wants to know if you were communicating with a specific person. Taylor says she is not. My unlock the phone investigators search her texts and... She is telling the truth. <laughs> My Unlock the Phone investigator searched through all of her apps and found that she has recently logged into three dating sites. Dating.com in August, you X Dating in June, and TikTok for adult sex dating in September. That's because you know why, why that's all that? It's because we be on, on uh, X videos together. We, that's, he knows so you about know about that. those things? Uh, yeah, I, I think. You know about that. All right, then my Unlock the Phone investigator then searched her phone and found three live sex chats. Live Jasmine, you know live sex cam with girls videos. in September, and naked girls strip chat in July. You know about all that? No, no. I mean, I, where's the, is there, you can know, you see the messages? You don't know about, yeah, where's the messages at? No messages, just logged in. That's uh, the, making them accounts when we get on next videos. You already know about yeah, that. Uh, yeah. Say you don't. Yeah, Say I, you don't. For real, I don't, you don't. Mean, you want to tell? No, I'm saying tell the truth. So I, instead of I'm making me like a dog when I come out here, Man. If anything like that, then we get on, we get on it together. We be on that oh, together. Oh, a few things, but I don't remember that one. Hold on, man. Why you sitting there doing your hand because, like that? You know, because it's not because, man, they make me look like I didn't do something. I didn't do anything. You didn't think you're not what I'm talking about. I got to give my advice on the situation. Because at the end of the day, now we've unlocked the phones. We know you're not doing anything. And the things that we found on your phone, you both are... You are aware of it. The issue is here is that when an experience that's supposed to be fun starts bleeding into an unhealthy no relationship, you have to stop the behavior. Because what's unfortunately has happened is that it has caused some insecurities in your relationship that is now making it no longer fun. It's no longer something you're experiencing. It's now being detrimental to your relationship. You yeah. want your cake and you want to eat it too. You want to no, have these fun No, she wants the cake and eat it too. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. don't care if we don't sleep with nobody else. I, I don't, don't care. Either. Well, then let's not do that and quit <laughs> accusing me. I'm not doing nothing wrong hey, to listen, you, man. But, but we went, we went, Chain we went me to the together. floor so Taylor, you can know. Taylor, at the end of the day, if this is ever going to work, you have to stop the threesome. It, no, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. She don't own up to that. He swears to her. When me and you were talking. Now, this is the thing for you. I've been talking. What? I swear to God, I'm not coming back up in this. See, he don't. Well, he don't want it to work. So I'm going to tell you Already this right seen. now because I went back there and got him before. I'm not going back there to get him again. He's never going to be able to accept that he's not fully in control, which is what's going to cause the continuous problems. So you have a choice to make: either you leave or you don't engage in the arguments. How do you not engage in something when somebody's like? Easy. You keep your mouth shut and you walk away. Because the thing is, if you're going to stay in, this is the reason I'm, because normally I would say just break up and end it, but you have a family, y'all about to get married, so I know that's not an option for you. So what I'm trying to tell you to do is you have to en not engage in these arguments. If you can do that, I promise you, that behavior is going to get less and less. Because again, he's going to realize he has no control over your power about how you're going to react. I know it's going to be hard because you're in a pattern of wanting to defend yourself, but you're not defending yourself. You can't defend yourself with somebody who's not going to give you grace and who's already made their mind up. And for your own sanity, for your son's sanity, 
you just can't engage anymore. It's not about you. Can you say that? Yeah. It's not about me. It's Say not about it me. me. It's about control. It's about control. There you go. Use that as a piece of mantra for you to keep yourself in a healthy situation. I wish you the best of luck, seriously. All right, friends, stay with us. We'll be right back with more. He thinks I judge him because he's G-A-Y, but I do not. It's a young man here to see if his mother... I'm not gay. I'm Jimmy. ...can accept him for who he truly is. I don't understand it. You constantly telling me G A Y, G A Y, I don't Gay. I don't want the little ones saying it. You are the cop. You're up on stage. Imagine being made to feel less than because of your sexuality. Now imagine the person making you feel the most hurt is your own mother. Jimmy is one of 12 siblings and believes his mother, Amanda, treats him differently because he is gay. We are going to meet Jimmy in a minute, but first take a look at what Amanda had to say. I haven't had a bond with my son since he was a little boy. He makes me feel like I'm a bad mom. He thinks I judge him because he's G-A-Y, but I do not. There's been heated arguments, and in those heated arguments, I have told him that it was a sin. That's how I was taught, that's how I was raised, that it was a sin to be that way. I don't really want to just get, keep, continue to stay on that topic, that, that G-A-Y topic. I don't, want, I don't like touching that. I'm not trying to hurt him anymore. So, but that one thing he cannot hold against me. I have never judged him. I was raised that that was wrong to be that way. The only thing that draws a wedge between our relationship that he feels like I'm judging him because of his sexuality, and I do not. He doesn't understand me, and I don't understand him. Everyone, let's meet Jimmy and see what he has to say about this. Welcome, Jimmy, to the show, everybody. Hi, Jimmy. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So, I gotta ask you, how do you feel about what your mom just had to say? I feel very emotional. Mm -hmm. Uh, to hear all of those insults that I've heard throughout my entire life in one video, it just hurts. Um, I want her to look at me more than just my sexuality. I'm not gay. I'm Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been close with your mom? When I was younger, my mom and I were very close. How do you communicate with her? Letters. How long have you been writing letters? I've been writing letters since the moment that I could spell a word. So you were one of 12 children. Um, did you feel like you were treated differently? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. In what ways? More ways than I could even begin to explain. Mm -hmm. um, just the way that my siblings are looked at. My siblings get eye contact. My siblings get a hug. My siblings get compassion. But me, I have never. What comments has your mom made about you being gay? The thing that stuck with me the most is she said that I wanted to be her. Mm. What? You wanted to be her in what way? A woman. Oh, got it. I Understood. love me. I love yeah. me. Yeah, got it. Uh, what I thought was interesting about that tape, and I don't know if y'all caught that, she would not even say the word gay. gay. She just spells it. Child, where do I start? Like if you don't have a problem with it, why can't you say it out loud? Got it. So I need to know, so you're one of 12 siblings. How do your siblings treat you? I don't talk to my, one of my sisters. Um, she has a different dad, but it has nothing to do with it. We don't talk because the way that my mom treats me, mm -hmm. it, it boils up, the feelings boil up when she talks to me. Do you think the relationship with your mom is salvageable? That's really something she has to ask herself, but I believe she loves me, but I don't think she loves every part of me. What do you want to happen today? I just want some respect. You don't have to respect that I'm gay. I don't care. Mm -hmm. You have made me feel like I've done something wrong. Mm -hmm. I was sexually assaulted when I was five. That affects a child major. Mm -hmm. And so whether I want to be this way or not, that is how I am. I feel like that affected me, but even if that didn't happen, mm -hmm. I was born this way. This is not a choice that I made. I don't want to be ridiculed. Got it. 
Um, so I know that you were in college right. and that you had to stop because your grandmother passed, right. correct? And so you moved out of your mom's house. I'm sorry. What, what made you emotional right there? There you go. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Don't go anywhere. I don't have anybody. Nobody can look at me. The conversation with his mother that Jimmy has been waiting his whole life for. Mom, I was sexually assaulted. How was I supposed to know that? Will happen next. Just accept me. Just I accept me. What do you mean? I haven't had a bond with my son since he was a little boy. He makes me feel like I'm a bad mom. He thinks I judge him because he's G-A-Y, but I do not. It just hurts. I want her to look at me more than just my sexuality. I'm not gay. I'm Jimmy. I'm sorry. What, what made you emotional right there? There you go. I'm so sorry. It's OK. <laughs> <laughs> Here, what's going on, babe? Talk to me. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. I'm sorry. Hey, what happened? Karen, I'm so hug. sorry. Give me, Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. What happened? What just happened? My grandma is the only person that's ever made me feel like I'm normal. When she died, I don't have anybody. Nobody can look at me. <sighs> Here, come back out with me. I'm I understand. sorry. No, you do not need to apologize. Let me tell you what I'm gonna teach you right now. First lesson is you don't apologize for your feelings because you are, just like every other human being, you're entitled to your feelings and you're entitled to express them and be who you are. Yes, sir. So you don't ever have to apologize for that. Okay, so um, so you moved out of your mom's house, right? I did for a little while. Okay, got it. Are you back in your mom's house? Yes. And so how's it been being back in your mom's house? I thought that our relationship was okay after I graduated. But really, I just feel like me going to college, I was out of the way. Um, she didn't have to deal with me anymore. That embarrassment of your co-captain cheerleader son that got prom king and did all these great things in high school, you don't want to look at him anymore because it's not the son that you imagined. Got it. Is your father in your life? Oh, uh, I have two daddies. Um, mm -hmm. My stepdad is great. That man will lay his entire everything. The belt that's on my waist is his. He has yeah. held me up. Um, my biological dad, my biological father, He's been pretty back and forth, in and out of my life. Got it. Well, everyone, I want to meet Jimmy's mother, Amanda, so let's welcome her to the stage to get her side of the story. A lot of the stuff you said is not true, and you know that. A lot of stuff is not true. It's absolutely not the truth. Yeah, denial is a river in Egypt. It, it is not true. It is not true. I supported you in cheering on. Mama, what it's you... not cheer. It is not cheer. It is me. So I don't care about the activities I do. I love him, but I don't have to like what he does. You don't, I, but I don't, you have, have to respect it. it. You have to respect it. I'm not asking I you. I don't disrespect <laughs> it either. I take up for him. That is not true. He's You're my mom. Do you want a, a pat on the back for that? It's the no, way do you, you want have clout for sitting here making me out to be this villain that I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to yes, make you, you look are. like yes, a you villain. Are. You have done great things. But the bad things outweigh them. What, what, the what way you bad? make me feel. What bad? Just How do the I... way you don't look me in my eyes, the way you because can't you hug me. Because you tell me don't touch you. What do you I mean? don't like but to why, be touched. Why do you think I don't want to? You me Mom, the time. I was sexually assaulted. <laughs> How was I supposed to know that? How, if, if nobody Ask tell questions. Me. Pay attention to your kids. How... I'm, not, I'm not saying anything bad. I just want you to get better so my siblings don't have to ever go through anything like I did. <laughs> Jimmy wants his mother to truly see him. Just accept me. Just I accept me. What do you mean? But what happens if she just can't do it? He thinks that you don't accept him for being gay. That's not true. 
Do you have any shame in your heart that you have a gay child? Stay tuned. I love him, but I don't have to like what he does. You don't, I, I but don't, you have, have to respect it. The bad things outweigh them. What, what, the way what you bad? make me feel. What bad? Just How do the I... way you don't look me in my eyes, the way you because can't you hug me. Because you tell me don't touch you. What do you I mean? don't like but to why, be touched. Why do you think I don't want to? Mom, all the time. I was sexually assaulted. <laughs> How was I supposed to know that? I just want you to get better so my siblings don't have to ever go through anything like I did. <laughs> did you know that he was sexually assaulted? No, I did not. When was the first At time? At five years old, no, I did not. When did you first hear this? Mama, I was in kindergarten. I'm saying... I told you when I was 16. Did you remember him telling you? I thought that was a, another incident, but yes, I remember. Okay, okay, you remember. And when that happened, do you feel like your mother was there for you in that moment? No. I feel like she did what she knew and just swept it under the rug. I didn't even know how to... How, I understand I didn't know how to that, be there. but neither did I. <laughs> I didn't, that ha, I had never been through that. I didn't know. I had never. I get that. I get that. But when when are you gonna stop saying I me I me and start caring about me and my feelings? I, why you, do you feel that I don't? What I don't understand. What I've never judged. I've never said anything about you being your sexuality. Mama, I've never. You constantly telling me G A Y. That is not a thing, G-A-Y, gay. I don't want- It's gay. I don't want the little ones saying it, walking around saying it. You are making gay seem like it is a bad thing. This is not something I chose to be, but just accept me. Just I, accept me. What do you mean I, I have always accepted No, him. you have not. You are in denial. What makes you think that I have it? Mama, you can't even what look have I, me I'm in saying, my what eyes. Have I you done? have not hugged me in years. Jimmy, will you I do have me a favor? Not... I want to give you a second to take a break in the, the green room. If, and I want to talk to your mom alone, OK? I'm going to have you go back this way. Come to here, What do you think the issues are between you two? I honestly, I do not know. It, he, it, our relationship started going down when he was like in, after kind of like junior high or whatever. That's when things started changing. He started changing. We've always wrote letters to each other to express how we feel because that's how my mom and I did. He makes me feel bad now. He's like, how do you think it made me feel that I couldn't come and talk to you, that I had to write letters? And I was like, I thought that was health, like something that was Healthy. good for both of us. Even do you, though do what... you feel like you treat him differently? No, honestly. Basically, I feel like I've lost him because he feels that I don't accept him, and that's not true. Do you have any shame in your heart that you have a gay child? No, I'm not ashamed of him. Mm -hmm. I'm not ashamed of him at all. I never have been. I was raised in a home to where it was wrong, and that's it. And I don't speak on it because I don't know, I don't understand it, so I don't speak on it. Like, I don't have to sit and, why do we have to have a topic about it? Yeah. yeah. Like, because it's something that I don't understand, so I don't speak on it. So one of the things that you said is that I don't understand it. Would you be open to talking to him more to understand who he is and understand more about his sexuality? First, I have to understand him because I don't understand him. Are you willing to learn about his experience as a gay man? What do I gain from that? You gain more understanding of your child? I don't understand what you mean by learning. So part of who your son is is he's a gay man, which means like as he gets older, he's gonna have a relationship. He's gonna have, just like your other children probably have dates that they come over to the house, they'll wanna meet you. So there's a part of that that I'm asking you, would you be willing to learn more about that? I guess, I mean. Yeah, I'm just asking. It really doesn't, I don't understand what you are learning. Mm -hmm. See, the, the same way that you What spent... do you mean when you're saying, am I willing to what? you saying accept him? I didn't because say Because I accept him. I didn't say anything about acceptance So what do you now. mean in learn? It's, would you be open to learning about your son as a gay man and what that entails? Yes. I think part of the reason I'm, I'm going to speak somewhat for him, just from 
similar experiences. I grew up in a Christian household, and I also grew up in a household where my father literally did not talk to me at all, even though we're in the household, because he was not willing to accept me as a gay man. I experienced that. And it hurt me every single day because I felt like, well, then maybe these people don't like me. He would say things like, I respect you, I want to get to know you. But then also at the same rate, he was showing me that he didn't want to learn about me. And we did not talk for 18 to 20 years. And in that time, in that time, I became a very successful man, a very happy man. And in the back of my mind, in the back of my mind, hold on a second, in the, in the back of my mind, I always wanted my father there because I was like, I want him to be enjoying this. I want him to be experiencing this with me. But what I realized is that my father, as much as I learned about him and understood his life and the things he was, and I had the empathy to say, okay, I get how you were raised. You were raised in a house where you were told one thing. You went to church every day. This is how you were taught. I understand where you're coming from. He never took a chance to understand me. And then one day, four years ago, he said, I finally want to learn. Okay. And he decided at that point to start making the choice to learn more about this community that he had been taught was so wrong, he started to learn. And this is a, 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 a man that is still very devoted to his religion. And now we have the best relationship because he's took the opportunity to learn. So when I'm asking you, do you want to take a time to learn, I'm not asking you yes. to change your beliefs. Yes, I'm asking you to take, do you want to learn more about yes. yourself? You yes. do? Mm -hmm. Can Amanda truly accept Jimmy for who he is? I do love him. If I bring Jimmy back out, would you be able to say to him that you're willing to learn? A defining moment for this mother and son is next. She has something that she would like to share with you. I've never judged you. I've never said anything about you being your sexuality. Mama, I've never you constantly telling me G-A-Y. That is not a thing. G-A-Y. Gay. I want to give you a second to take a break in the, the green room, and I want to talk to your mom alone. Do you have any shame in your heart that you have a gay child? No, I'm not ashamed of him. I don't understand it, so I don't speak on it. Would you be open to talking to him more to understand who he is and understand more about his sexuality? Yes. If you could fix your relationship with your son today, what would that look like for you? I don't want to feel decent from him. Yeah. Because I, I do love him. Yeah. <sighs> I know there's love in your heart, but I also understand and have empathy for the fact that you were raised a certain way and that you were taught a certain thing. I actually, because I've been through it and I can, I've grown past it, and also because I'm also a proud Christian man, I also can very, I can say to you, I see it. I understand what you've been through. But I can tell you, if you really want to be able to get that relationship with him, you being able to say that I'm willing to learn will be a big step. I am, and I think that's a big issue, that I, I don't speak about it, or I don't talk about it. Yeah. And... I think that's why he felt like I don't accept him because I won't talk about it or whatever. Yeah. I accept him. I just, that's just not something that I want to sit and talk about. Yeah. And, and with, through education, you'll learn more and then maybe you might become more comfortable. But that's going to be the first step for you. If I bring Jimmy back out, would you be able to say to him that you're willing to learn? Yes. All right, I'm going to bring Jimmy back out. <laughs> Thank you for coming back. Thank you. Jimmy, um, your mother and I talked, and I heard your mom. She heard me, which I was very thankful for. And she has something that she would like to share with you. I'm, I'm willing to learn who you are. And I do accept you. I love you. And I'm sorry for, for making me feel <laughs> lot of pain that has been here. Um, well, Jimmy, I can tell you this. I know your mother does love you at the core. And I also understand, as I share with your mom, what it feels like from your perspective, being a young black gay man who just wants to be seen and know that their parents love them wholeheartedly. 
and what I tried to show your mother and what she accepted, which is why I give her her praise, which is why I'm giving you your flowers right here, is that through me talking to her calmly, she understood that she has to learn more. And she was willing to learn more. And that's a big step. And maybe for some of the people, it seems like a small step, but for somebody who's grown in a household where you've been told, this is wrong, this is wrong, to say, I want to at least learn, education is the first step. And so I thank you for that. Thank you. And she wants to get closer. Do you want to get closer to your mom? I do. Tell her. <laughs> I want to be able to have a relationship. I just want to open up, but I can't. I don't know how to, but I'll work on it. I will, too. Y'all took a very big step. You took a very big step. Listen, I know if y'all need anything, I want to be a resource for both of y'all. So if y'all ever need anything, I want y'all to know you can talk to me. And it's going, it's, I'm going to hear you, okay? All right. And I wish y'all the best of luck, all right? all right? Thank you for being with us. Come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. I love you all. Yeah.